Welcome back to the Sports Wrap Thursday Blitz with Andy Gresh. What did the Patriots learn, if anything, from the debacle against the Eagles? You can't play bad football and still win games. These aren't the days of Moss and, and Welker. Mm. Uh, these aren't the days of 04 to where you could lose the turnover ratio and win games. Now with Edelman and Amendola's going through his deal and Gronk dinged up, and the fact that you've got guys like Jonathan Freeney, who was a part of the whole punt block situation, playing more snaps on defense, you can't make bad plays and still win. So they've realized that they've got to button it up in all three phases of the game. We talked last night about J.J. Watt being the defensive matchup to watch when the Pats are on offense. When the Texans are on offense, is it DeAndre Hopkins outside that causes the most headaches for the Pats? No question about it because he's the most talented guy. You can throw it up to him. He'll run every route on the route tree. That's why I respect DeAndre Hopkins. He's not just a guy who's running seven, eight, nine routes mm. and staying from the numbers to the sideline. He will go over the middle. Now, they don't ask him to do it a lot, but he will go over the middle. He will run the post routes to where he can get croaked by a safety. Yes, I think it begins and ends with DeAndre Hopkins. You shut him down, you got a great chance to win the game. And let's put it this way, Yanni, let's also clarify what shutting him down means. Six catches, 75 yards, no touchdowns. That's the big thing. Okay. No plays of 20 or more All or right. 40 or more, and don't let him in the end zone. All right, the last time the Patriots lost three games in a row, it was 2002. Does that happen Sunday? What is your prediction? No, I think the Patriots win, but it's a close game. Look, there's some commonalities here where you've got a coach who understands this offense. You have a defense coordinator who understands this offense. And no one's talked about Mike Vrabel, mm. who's sitting there and understands Belichick as well as anybody. So this is a big details week, I think, for the Patriots. But they win a close one. 20 to 17. All right. Now, I almost went 18, but it's a weird number. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the AFC, the Bengals play the Steelers. Denver has Oakland. Right now, the Pats are the three seed by virtue of the tiebreakers. How does this shake out after this week? Does everyone win the top three seeds? Uh, I think this week, yeah. You know, Pittsburgh is coming along a little bit. It'll be interesting to see. If they can uh, knock off Cincinnati, if they can, it would be a big boom for everybody because Denver and Cincinnati still have right. to play each other. So I think the top three still win. It's really that Denver-Cincinnati matchup that I'm looking at that if the Patriots can find a way to hold serve here the rest of the way, one of those two will eliminate each other. What is your prediction right now a month away from where what seed the Pats end up getting? Ah, uh, Boy, I hate saying this because I don't believe in them. I think Cincinnati ends up the number one seed. I think the Patriots end up the number two seed. And I think Denver ends up the number three seed. I just don't think Denver, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be able to ride it out mm. with Brock Osweiler and be able to, you know, win out the rest of the way. That turned into what, like a seven-game winning streak? I just yeah. don't see it. Has Peyton Manning played his last game? <laughs> Uh, no, he's going to play next year, and he's going to be like Kobe Bryant. Who's he going to play for? Uh, that's a great question. You know, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, somebody will take a chance on him. Mm. There's no question. And it's look for the, con you know, who knows him, uh, who's comfortable with him. And let's remember, it's Peyton Manning. His mind still works. If he can show that he's still got enough physically, there will be a coach out there who will take a chance on him? There's no doubt in my mind. You know, I, I, depending on how it ends with Kirk Cousins in Washington, and we'll see if they blow out their coaching staff. If not, I wonder if Jay Gruden says, hmm, maybe Manning can help us fix our situation. Just some food for thought. That's interesting. All right, Gresh, thanks for coming in, and we will see you for a Monday edition of the Patriots Wrap because of the late game on Sunday. That's right, a weekend off. Let's go. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, you don't want to know, my friend. No doubt. Oh, if I on. say it, I'll probably get in trouble again like last night. <laughs>